Sulfur, crazy IGCSE. What are the sources of sulfur? It is a byproduct from the removal of sulfur from petroleum and natural gas. It can also be obtained from sulfide ores. What are the uses of sulfur? The main use is making sulfuric acid, which is a very important chemical used in many, many industries. It can also be used extensively in making rubber tires more flexible, which is known as vulcanization. This is where the rubber is heated with sulfur to make it more flexible. What is sulfur dioxide and its uses? Sulfur dioxide can be made by the direct combination of sulfur with oxygen. This method is used in the first stage of the manufacture of sulfuric acid, which we will be looking at later. The chemical formula is S plus O2 is going to give us SO2, which is giving us sulfur dioxide. The chemical formula of sulfur dioxide is SO2. Its uses. It's used as a bleach in the manufacture of wood pulp for paper. It's used as a preservative for foods and drinks by killing bacteria. And sulfates are often added to foods and these release sulfur dioxide in acidic conditions, which again just kill bacteria. Contact process. What is the contact process? It is the manufacture of sulfuric acid. The stage one is the oxidation of sulfur, which we just looked at, which is basically producing sulfur dioxide. S plus O2 is going to give us SO2. Stage two is the main stage is the oxidation of sulfur dioxide to sulfur trioxide. Using a V2O5 catalyst, a catalyst is basically any substance that increases the rate of reaction by lowering the activation energy. So you, you take SO2, which is sulfur dioxide, O2, oxygen, and it makes SO3, which is sulfur trioxide. To balance the equation, it becomes 2SO2 plus O2 plus 2SO3. Keep in mind, this is with V2O5 as a catalyst. Let's look at the conditions required for stage 2. The temperature should be 450 degrees Celsius. This reaction is exothermic, so increasing the temperature shifts the position of the equilibrium to the left in the direction of the reactants. Therefore, the higher the temperature, the lower the yield of sulfur trioxide produced. The optimum temperature is a compromise between a higher rate of reaction and a higher temperature and a lower equilibrium yield at a higher temperature. The pressure should be 2 atm. An increase in pressure shifts the position of the equilibrium to the right in direction of a smaller number of gaseous molecules. However, the position of equilibrium lies too far to the right. So this reaction is carried out just above our atmospheric pressure because number one, it is not worth spending the extra energy or money required to produce high pressures. Number two, a higher pressure would increase the problems of dealing with the corrosive mixture of gases and it can also cause pollution. Stage 3. Once stage 2 is completed, sulfur trioxide is absorbed into a solution of 98% sulfuric acid to produce a thick liquid called oleum. So SO3 plus H2SO4, which is the chemical formula of sulfuric acid, is going to give us H2SO2O7, which is the chemical formula of oleum. It is not absorbed into water because a fine mist of sulfuric acid would be produced and this would be difficult to condense and is also highly dangerous. Then oleum, basically H2S2O7, is added to water to form concentrated sulfuric acid. So we're basically producing concentrated sulfuric acid. So H2S2O7, which is oleum plus H2O, which is water, gives us 2H2SO4 basically H2SO4, which is sulfuric acid, and we just balance it by putting two so we can have a balanced equation. Now, what are the properties of sulfuric acid? It is a strong dibasic acid. What is a dibasic acid? It's basically an seven, which is oleum plus H2O, which is water, gives us two H2SO4, basically H2SO4, which is sulfuric acid, and we just balance it by putting two so we can have a balanced equation. Now, what are the properties of sulfuric acid? It is a strong dibasic acid. What is a dibasic acid? It's basically an acid which has two of its hydrogen atoms that can be replaced by a metal. It also reacts in a similar way to other acids with metal carbonates, the oxides, hydroxides, and ammonia. And there are, these are some examples given that are worth reading so you can understand its properties more easily. 
Concentrated sulfuric acid is corrosive and a powerful oxidizing agent, so you can already guess it's used a lot in redox reactions. It is also a very powerful dehydrating agent and is very good at removing water from other substances. For example, if it's mixed with sugar, C6H12O6, which is basically the formula of glucose, Concentrated H2SO4 sulfuric acid which will remove water molecules and leave behind carbon in a spectacular looking reaction that produces a tower of pure carbon which we will be looking at later on. What are the uses of sulfuric acid? Dilute sulfuric acid is used as a catalyst in many organic reactions and is also used to clean the surface of metals. Concentrated, on the other hand, is in car batteries, making phosphate fertilizers, soaps and detergents. It's also used to, in making acid drink cleaners and in the production of paints and dyes. This is the H2SO4 reaction with sugar. So we've got a beaker at time zero seconds and we are adding concentrated sugar sulfuric acid and glucose in this beaker and we're adding dilute sulfuric acid and glucose in this beaker right here. If you look when we have when we are 15 seconds in, we get this black tower. This is a tower of carbon. And if you see, there's nothing happening to the dilute solution. If you look in about one minute, you can see there is a higher carbon tower with, co the, with the concentrated sulfuric acid, and there is nothing going on with the dilute sulfuric acid. So that basically just shows the different properties and the different reactions based on these two different um, concentrated and dilute H2S, H2SO4s. That was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. If you guys have any suggestions or if you want me to make any other videos on any other chemistry topic, please let us know in the comments. Thank you so much.